how to be taken seriously by any business owner. What's going on guys? My name is Joshua Daniel George and for those that are new to the channel, I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands called Brandpreneur and I am also the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery where I teach you how to build up your own social media marketing agency, scale it, automate it and live life on your own terms. And in this video, I basically want to discuss how you can be taken seriously by any other a potential client or business owner regardless of, of your age and your level of experience with social media marketing because I get a lot of questions uh, from people asking for case studies or asking you know me for advice if a potential business owner asks them you know have you got a portfolio or any previous experience because you know people without the experience don't really know what to say in situations like this and I think it all comes down to your positioning okay if you position yourself as an authority figure if you build that rapport if you come across as the expert you'll notice that they won't actually be asking you for a portfolio or for case study or for previous um, you know social media marketing experience for example me I hardly ever get asked you know, for any type of portfolio or case study anymore because I know how to position myself now uh, in front of these business owners to come across as the expert. So they no longer need that confirmation uh, from a previous client or you know, on paper from pe previous experience because they know I am the right person for this job, okay? So one of the easiest ways to do this is by something called authority hijacking. Okay, I have not invented that name myself. I think it was Jeremy Haynes who was the first one who actually uh, coined the term. But basically, with authority hijacking, you're basically using someone else's expertise as your own. Okay, so what you can say is, for example, those that are in the Lifestyle Design Mastery course, or to be honest, anyone who's watching this channel that wants to get into social media marketing, you can basically you know, use me as the authority figure. So you can say, okay, well, my... Um, agency coach, my agency mentor, my Facebook ad coach, um, you know, my course mentor, whatever you want to call it, mention this, this and this. And then you can go into detail about, uh, you know, the, the specifics of the client basically. So let's say the client is in the fitness industry and you've got no previous experience in the fitness industry. And then you can mention, you know, um, me as the authority figure. You can say, well, my, um, you know, my agency coach, mentioned that within the fitness industry, the best ways to get people um, to enroll as a member of the gym is by offering a free trial with you know, a call to action at the end to actually sign up for you know, X amount of months. Or what you can also do is um, give them a discount if they sign up for 24 months and then prolong the lifetime value of the client. And that way, you know, by, by mentioning things like this and using someone else as the authority figure, you can basically steal their experience and their case studies and you know, use them as your own because you're not actually saying that they're your uh, case studies or your experience. You know, you're using them from someone else, but because you're mentioning it, they think you are first of all in contact with a lot of people that are familiar with the industry, and you're also in contact with people that are experienced. So that means that you will probably be more experienced as well. Okay, so that is how you can create that perceived um expertise in the eyes of the potential client or business owner second thing which is really really important is to speak their language okay if you know we've all we've all been in the situation where um you know you you have like an inside joke from like a series or a film you've seen and so, someone you've just met um, you know, mentions that inside joke or that phrase and you immediately create that bond with that person you immediately think okay you know i know i like this guy or girl because they have seen the same film as I have and they understand that inside joke. You, you create that sense of connection. Like for example, the other week I was speaking to someone who I had no idea was in like the, the self-development um, you know, industry, if you will. And he mentioned value ladders and I immediately knew, okay, this guy has read Russell Brunson's books. You know, he understands funnels and, um, you know, we basically you know had that connect the moment of connection and they knew okay you know i like this guy because this guy knows what he's talking about and he's basically um in and around the same industry as i am and you need to create that feeling with the potential business owner or the potential clients um as well so again for example if this client is in the fitness industry you can mention you know macronutrients you can mention um carb loading you can mention you know, meal frequency you can mention your own workouts because then that gym owner thinks that you understand the industry you know you speak their language and therefore, you know, you, you create that sense of connection and then you build a rapport and you, the client is much more likely to work with you because you know 
what their target audience wants and needs because you speak their language. Okay guys, and then lastly is to actually do your homework do niche research and mention case studies, okay? And I understand that a lot of the gurus out there, they mention, you know, to just stick to a script and, uh, you know, follow the script, say it word by word, and then you'll be golden. But guys, you know, if you actually do the research and actually do your homework, you'll notice that you can build up so much more rapport with the business owner because the business owner gets the feeling that you understand what he wants and what he needs. And like I said, also, if you mention the case studies, you, they don't even have to be your own. You, you can use that authority hijacking and mention that um, your agency mentor or your agency coach um, done a certain thing within that industry and you know we just mentioned tell the story mention the case study and basically use that as your own and try and build up that rapport with the potential client okay so in terms of doing your niche research for example you're in the um, you're in the car dealership industry you know you can just mention okay well um, you know I was speaking to my agency coach or my you know my Facebook ads coach or whatever and we were talking about the best times to actually sell cars because you know we've noticed uh, an upward trend of car sales in you know, the fourth quarter and you know that might be because um, you know older models are trying to get sold because around September you know car dealerships mostly import the new model but I'm just rambling on here guys I have no idea what I'm talking about here but you know if you tell that story and basically explain that okay you know there's a new model of a certain car coming in so that means that there's a discount on the older vehicles and that is why in the fourth quarter there's more car sales you know and then you can mention well, what we can do then is um, run a discount or you know do some kind of promotion before the new model comes in so we can sell the car um, you know, the, the older model for a better price than what you could have if it was discounted something along those lines and then that business owner you know the, the owner of the car dealership immediately thinks okay this guy knows what he's talking about you know he's he's done his research he understands the industry and he's got some good ideas um you know to use for my dealership to get more sales or to increase the amount of sales okay and then like i said mention the case studies so you can say again you know use that authority hijack and mention that your agency coach or mention that um an agency that you work with uh, closely in a different country I always mention that it's in a different country because otherwise that client might go on to to that agency okay so let's say for example you're based in new york and you're talking to a potential client that is in new york as well and you mention another agency make sure that the other agency is in the uk or sweden or denmark for example okay so you so you make sure that the potential client doesn't actually think okay well i'll go with the agency that has the experience but then mention that person's case study okay so you say well, okay well i was talking with um, an agency that we work closely with uh, in the UK and they mentioned that um, you know, again for you know gym owners that um, a free trial works best and they basically ran a free trial they spent 800 on ads and they managed to get four four and a half thousand pounds um, in sales in just that one month and then the lifetime value of a client is at least 12 months so 12 you know blah blah and then just give them the the, the equation you know give them the statistics and basically that is how you've, you've, you've used someone else's case study as your own, but because you know you work closely with that agency, the, the one you mentioned, it looks like, you know, to the client, it looks like you understand it as well and that you can get the same results. Okay guys, so I hope you got something out of this. I hope you understand what I mean with the authority hijacking and you know using other people's case studies and mention that you work together with them closely. Um, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.